Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. August the 7th, 1876. A key component. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. 1 Peter 5, 6. It would be obvious to most Christians to include in the ingredients of prayer the importance of seeking God and confessing sin in the pursuit of genuine revival. But oddly, we often overlook the one God mentions first in 2 Chronicles 7, 14. In his formula for an awakening, he says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Truthfully, we never advance much in prayer or seeking God or repentance until we humble ourselves. Humility is the most important component that enables the others. Without it, God stands afar off and revival is never experienced. In God's economy, the way up is down. Though the Lord be high, yet he hath rejected, or he yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth far off. Psalm 138.6 George C. Stebbins, who would become dear friends with Moody and Sankey and help edit the hymnal they would publish, described his first meeting with D.L. Moody at his home in Northfield in August of 1876 to help him with Sunday services. This was the first time I had seen Mr. Moody since the night he left Chicago for his work in Great Britain, which was destined very soon to make him known throughout the Christian world. And yet, though he was then at the height of his fame, and conceded to be one of the great religious characters of his time, he was still the same unassuming and unaffected man that he was before his work had brought him into such prominence before the world. D.L. Moody's humility was a hallmark of his ministry, one of the reasons God used him in such an amazing way. The first step a child takes is the most difficult when learning to walk. It rarely turns out successful. The first step to revival is likewise not easy and we will fall more than once in trying to conquer our pride and self-sufficiency. Ask God to help you today, not to think less of yourself, but to not think of yourself at all. Well, usually um, with that verse, when I've heard that since 2020, since COVID, if my people, which are called by my name, people seemingly think that that's the United States when, or the world in general. He's talking about people that are called by his name. Of course, that's Old Testament. So we're looking at uh, the Israelites at that time, but for us as believers, we're the ones that need to humble ourselves and pray. If we're his people, we're the ones that need to humble ourselves. Very good lesson there. All right, let's give this song a shot here today. <clears throat> Each time I stop and take the time to look around me, I see the signs of His appearing everywhere. The things He said would come to pass are now before us. And I can feel a strange excitement in the air. Just then He 
our Lord is coming. He'll be returning for you and me. For I've been watching and I've been waiting just in There's a longing in my heart for His appearing. I'll gladly leave behind these trials here below. For this journey has been long and I'm so weary. But somehow I feel I'm so much closer home Just any day now Our Lord is coming He'll be returning For you and me For I've been watching Just any day now, His face I'll see. Just any day now, His face I'll see. A little high uh, on that. I guess I should have ran through that song. Heard Vince Gill say one time about one of his most popular songs. He said, if I knew I was going to be singing this song for the next 30 years, I would have recorded it in a different chord. So, <clears throat> but we got it out, right? Just any day now. Lord, I thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would watch over and bless, Lord. God, I pray that you would help us to humble ourselves, Lord. God, I'd rather humble myself than have you humble me. And so, God, I pray that you will help us to be humble, Lord, and to look to you for help and strength. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, folks. Brother Mike Priest will be uh, teaching. He started last week. We were on vacation, and he started in the book of James, but he will be teaching every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock at Charity Free Will Baptist, where we pastor, uh, Brother Chris, his son, and myself. And so if you want to come and be with us, we'd love to have you. If not, you can watch it on here. God bless. <music>